Hey guys, and welcome back. Today I'm gonna to be testing out a range of products from one brand. So I love when I get to take one brand and just buy a little bit of everything to try and test out the brand as a whole, see what I like, see what I don't like, and then pass that information on to you. The testing out of this brand was inspired by one product, um, and it's a product that Kathleen Lights was talking about, and it kind of just led me down a rabbit hole on Sephora and ended up buying a whole bunch of stuff from them. So, so the product that started this whole thing is the Tower 28 Intensive Rescue Serum. Kathleen Lights talked very highly about this. She uses this as a primer for her makeup and I just had to test it out. But one thing I love about this brand is it's, it's accepted by the National Eczema Association. I have eczema, so I have to be careful what, what products I use and I like that. That doesn't mean my skin won't react to it, but there's less chance of it, hopefully. So, so I want to quickly just show you the products that I got, and then we're going to put them on the face. I don't have an entire full face of Tower 28, um, so I'll have to use a few products here and there, but we're gonna be testing these out today. So the first one is the Tower 28 Intensive Rescue Serum. This one, this has actually been in my cart at Sephora for quite a while now. I've been wanting to try this, but this is the Tower 28 Daily Rescue Facial Spray. I've heard this is great as well, very hydrating, so I'm excited about those two. But let's get into the makeup bits. Let's see here. First, we have the skin tint from Tower 28. When this launched, I never got it. I did watch some reviews on it. I don't remember uh, how they turned out, but this has SPF of 30, and it's called the Sunny Days Tinted Sunscreen. So it's not a skin tint, it's a tinted sunscreen. Interesting. We'll see if this has any coverage or if... I don't know, I'm curious. We'll see what that looks like. Then we have the Tower 28 Luminous Tinted Balm. This is in Magic Hour. So I'm assuming this is a blush. Each Please Luminous Tinted Balm. So I don't know, maybe you can, you know, cheeks and lips. You can use this on the lips and the cheeks. So, and I feel like I've heard the, turn, the name Magic Hour a lot. So maybe this is a popular one. I don't know, but I love the packaging. I love the clear, like this is gorgeous. This one I think is a new product. This is the Tower 28 Soft Contour Cream. Um, and this is the shade Broad. Oh, I believe this is a new product. I think this was on Sephora's new category. So another cream product. I've really been loving using cream products on my face. So very excited to test those two out together. I have two more products. This one is the, oh, and I have one that I own already. I'll put on too. But this is the mascara from Tower 28. And I've never used, the only Tower 28 product I've used is a lip gloss, which I own already. But here is the Tower 28, I think it's the Make Waves. Make Waves mascara. Um, yeah, so we will give this a try. I love the coloring of this brand. Purple is my favorite color and this beautiful lavender shade is gorgeous. All right, last one that I bought is the Tower 28 Multi Liner um, Fill Me In. This is the most eligible liner is here and wants to make it official, safe for eyes, lips, and face. Our liner is smooth, flexible, long-lasting color that won't ghost. So you can use this anywhere, I guess, but um, it is like a lip liner color. So yeah, it's a beautiful shade. That is gorgeous. What's the fill me in? Is that the name of the shade? Fill me in is the name of the shade. So those are the products I have. I also have a um, jelly lip gloss. Shine on lip jelly in cashew. So I have this one as well. So yeah, we're going to dive into these products real quick. So I have dry skin. I have washed and moisturized my face. Um, it's been a little bit, maybe 30 minutes ago. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and go into the serum. Now you can kind of see through the bottle a little bit and it does look like it's like water texture. Like it looks really, really thin. Okay, so let's see if we can see the texture. I don't wanna get it to run everywhere, but yep. It is very ooh, uh, watery, but at the same time it's sticking to my hand. It's not running down my hand. That's an inter oh, that's an interesting texture. You know how there's some um, textures that start off really thick and jelly and then melt into water? This seems to do the opposite. It looks like water 
and then it like thickens up on your face. That is interesting. I feel like I'm going to like this. So since this is a tinted sunscreen, I think we'll just go straight into this. Um, normally I put a sunscreen on and then my base products and using this alone probably is not going to be enough sunscreen coverage, but I do want to test it and see because if it's really, really sheer, I can use maybe enough. Um, it's reef safe mineral sunscreen, by the way. So I got mine in the shade 05 Fair. So let's see here. The texture looks like. So there is a texture. It is slightly runny. So I'm going to use my fingers since it's a tinted sunscreen. And let's just see how this goes on the face. Oh, wow, it's very thick. It's, it's um, thicker than I was expecting it to be. Mm. It's very almost oily feeling. Not my favorite texture, but it is smoothing. It is blending in. It's not quite as oily and gross as the Ilia. If you like the Ilia, um, it's got that similar feel, but it seems to sink in a little better. Now, I haven't tried the newest Ilia. I haven't tried their old formula, so I don't know if they've if it's any less greasy now, but that one just didn't work for me. This definitely has more coverage than the Ilia. I could see myself really using this a lot in the summer though. But if you have oily skin, you will definitely need some powder with this or this may not work for you at all. It's quite glowy. I'm gonna take my UV mirror camera thing and see how much coverage of sunscreen that gave me. By the way, I am planning to do a sunscreen video using this UV mirror um, probably in the next month or two. I'm gonna need my sister to help me film it because the way you gotta film this and anyways, but I'm gonna be testing out some sunscreens using this. But for today, I want to see coverage. Oh, okay, it covered um, pretty well. Sorry, it covered pretty well. Um, I really wish, I'm going to take a picture so you can see what I'm looking at. I may actually see if I can record with the phone, actually. I don't know how much is going to be in focus or whatever, but the sunscreen, if it's covering your skin, shows up as black. You can see where it kind of stops on my neck. <laughs> um, but it's pretty solid coverage. You can't really see my skin through. You see there's one little patch right there where I need to blend over. Um, you see on my ear. <laughs> So I'm trying to get this where you can see it. You can see the hairline where it stops. Um, so the coverage is actually really good with just that amount that I put on um, as far as the sunscreen coverage. Now, as far as like makeup coverage, it is very light, but there is some there. I feel like this will be a very good summer product for me though. So um, I'm going to put some concealer on so I can cover up a little bit and we'll go on to the other products. Okay, so I just put a little bit under the eyes, basically blended that out. Very light coverage though. Um, we're gonna keep it fresh today. So let's go into, I normally like to do my bronzer before my blush. So I think we're gonna do the bronzer first. My current favorite brush to put on cream bronzer with is this one from Luxie. This is the 533 Small Precision Brush and I love the shape of this. The density, everything. It is a beautiful bronzer, contour, blush, everything, foundation. It's a good overall brush. So let's dip into here a little bit and see how this blends on the skin. The color is nice. It's not too dark on me. The base is already so glowy. It's hard for me to tell how glowy this um, bronzer is because the base is so insanely glowy. I don't think that this tinted sunscreen is one that I would want to put under foundation because it is so thick and juicy um, that I don't think I would want to add foundation on top of it. But as a standalone product, um, I would probably end up using it a lot this summer, but I don't know, my skin is just so glowy. 
it's uh it's a little too much right now but i'll put powder on later okay so this is nice and sheer it's going on and blending beautifully it's not too much pigment i like this this is pretty there we go so there is the tower 28's new um sculptino is what it says on here sculpt your face like the work of art you you are okay um i'm gonna go ahead while i have this and put this in my eye in my eye no we're not gonna put it in my eye we're gonna put it in the crease of my eye i'm just gonna take this complex culture brush and kind of contour the eyes a little bit so we're gonna keep a fairly natural face today i just want to put a little bit of bronzer up here a little bit on the bottom just on the outer third i don't know if tower 28 has a brow product I'm not sure okay so hair in the mouth so i do enjoy this i'm going to keep testing this out but this is the kind of cream bronzer that i like um it's something i can tap my brush in and then tap on my face aja play bento stack i have pretty much used up and it has a similar like it goes on very similar to that i think that one has a little bit more pigment than this one um, um but see mine is is basically gone but they are very similar come on products the coloring is a little bit different they are very similar let me actually swatch these two side by side is the kaja and then here is the tower 28 oh my yeah the color is almost the exact same except the the uh, tower 28 is a little bit more sheer like it's not quite as pigmented but the undertone and everything they look very very similar so um i think i'm going to like this one and i think it's been a quick easy one to put on every day so i'm excited because my kaja one's basically gone it's kind of gotten like dust and gunk in it like it's been used a lot so so yeah i'm ex i'm excited for that one it is starting to storm outside so if you hear the thunder okay. so next we're gonna try the tower 28 magic hour blush so i will probably end up putting this uh, tapping this on my lips as well but let's start off with the blush um i kind of want to swatch this first so let's feel it doesn't feel exactly like the the cream bronzer the cream bronzer feels a little bit more emollient um but let me swatch that um i'm gonna take my merit brush for this i normally just use this one for the blush as well nah, i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna go ahead and use it so i'm just gonna do the exact same thing i'm gonna tap oh oh wow can't lot came off Tap some into the brush and then just pat it on the face. Oh, it's a lot more pigmented than in the swatch. It is storming outside like crazy. Okay, I like the formula. I like the blendability. The pigmentation is insane. Like I have too much. <laughs> um, yeah, I. I'm just using what's left on the brush onto the other side and that's the good that's a good application this is too much for me color I don't know it it looks a little a little bit too orange on my skin everything turns more orange on my skin for some reason blends out beautifully um, has great pigmentation I think it's a little bit more pigmented than the um, bronzer Holy if I lose power um, and this video just stops randomly, I'm sorry. It's like insane outside. I am going to lightly powder to set some of this down. And then if I'm still here, we'll come back for the lips. I'm going to use the Givenchy Prism Libra powder. And I'm just going to take a little bit of this. Pretty sure you can probably hear the rain at this point so i'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows and then we'll try to test out the lips and wrap this up before it gets any crazier okay so let's try out this lip liner real quick and this color looks like it's gonna be gorgeous so it's quite pink so there's the lip liner it is pretty matte but it goes on nice and creamy i'm gonna 
top that, oh, actually I wanna tap a little bit of the blush onto the lips. So I'm just gonna get a little on my finger and then just tap it on. Beautiful. That color goes really well with that lip liner. It's a little bit more peachy than the lip liner, but it looks good. And then this is a little bit more brown, but I'm gonna top it with the Tower 28 Lip Gloss in Cashew. I do like the formula of this. This isn't my favorite color because it's pretty brown. And I, whoo, I tend to go for pinkier colors. I do enjoy this formula. There we go, okay. Last thing we have to test, last thing we have to test is the mascara. So let's see what I think of this. It has kind of a plasticky curved wand. It's like fatter on one side. It doesn't seem to be too wet of a formula, but it's not like dry and tugging on my eyelashes. So there's one coat. It seems to be a more volumizing than lengthening. It's getting pretty like thick on the base of my lashes. Like it's pretty volumizing. I'm gonna let that dry and then I'm gonna try and clean that up and then I'll come back to give you kind of a roundup of what I think of all of these products. The mascara stuck pretty good to my eyelid and I can't seem to get it off. Um, but I was actually thinking about using this on my eyelid. Uh, it says that it can be used on the eyes, lips, and cheeks, right? Where's the safer eyes, lips, and face? So I'm going to use this on my eyelid and see what happens. I just want to put this all over my lid, kind of. See if it blends out. I kind of like that. Let's do the other side. So we can cover up the mascara on my lid. So that works as an eyeshadow surprisingly well. I want to tap just a little bit of shimmer on top of it. So, so I got some random highlighter from my drawer. This is from Sophia and Maybell. Mabel, Mabel, I don't know. Um, in Frostbite, it's called Wet Glow. So um, I got this in a box, I'm assuming, and I have it haven't really used it so I want to just tap this on top of that oh my gosh this is like uh uh you put your finger in this and it it, it just feels wet that is interesting okay let me tap this on top here we go oh that's pretty I like that. Okay, so this is um, all of the Tower 28 products that I have. Let's break this down a little bit. I'm gonna go in order. I'm just gonna go in order that I used. So the Tower 28 Serum, I think I'm really going to enjoy this. I know this is a skincare product and I may actually end up using this at night as well. Um, it is pretty small. I don't remember how much this was, but I think that I'm gonna really fall in love with this. The texture of it is so unique. I've never felt anything quite like this. So, yeah. Oh, I think I'm gonna fall in love with this. Oh, we haven't tried this out yet. Okay, so let's go ahead and use the Daily Rescue Facial Spray. My skin is already quite dewy, glowy, and hydrated from all of those products. So, um, I don't know if this is gonna be a great test or not. Um, I did put a little bit of powder, but it's like melted into it already. Like I put a tiny bit, but let's try. Let's first check out this mist. Uh, it's a mist. It's not a mist. Um, uh, but let's, let's see. It's definitely not a fine mister, but I don't know if this is meant to be a setting spray or I think it's more of like a hydrate your face and not set your makeup kind of thing. So there's definitely like bigger drops on my face. It feels incredibly like refreshing and cool. It's not cooling, but it's, it feels good on the face. I like it. 
Um, I'm gonna keep testing that out. It doesn't have a lot of scent, which I do like. Let's see what it's supposed to do. It help, helps seriously soothe stressed out skin. Our hero ingredient is hypochlorous acid. <laughs> Maximizes your good skin days by reducing the appearance of redness plus supporting the skin's renewal process for all skin types, especially sensitive skin havers. <laughs> it says, file under a skincare life raft in the middle of an angry skin episode. Use AM and PM in place of toner. So it is like a skincare product and not like supposed to be for your makeup. Um, so I may actually put this in my bathroom and use this um, at night and in the morning because I like the way it feels on the skin. So I definitely like these two skincare products from Tower 28. That, those are the standout ones for me. Um, now let's get to the makeup. Let's, let's talk makeup a little bit. Um, the Tower 28 tinted sunscreen, I have mixed feelings about. I think that my skin looks incredibly plumped and smooth. Um, like, this looks really smooth. However, it is quite oily and um, it seems to not hold on to makeup products that go on top of it. I, like, I touched right there and my bronzer came off. Um, I think because it is so oily, the makeup doesn't want to stick to it. Um, however, I feel like this is something that I would use on a completely no makeup day. Um, I don't know that I would wear makeup with this. Maybe if I added powder, bronzer and powder blush on top, it would probably help a little bit. Um, so I'm going to try that out as well and, and see if I can make this work with makeup. But just off this first use of it, I think the way that I would use it is just in the summer by itself at the pool, slap a little bit on, gives a tiny bit of coverage, but um, it's mostly there for my sunscreen. So that's my first impression of this. I'm going to continue testing this out and see, and especially when we get into the warmer months, I will be using this and I will let you know for sure what I end up thinking of it. Um, but yeah, that's just my first kind of thought of that. However, the contour, bronzer, whatever, and then the lip and cheek. I love these. I think these are going to go in my daily makeup bag. I'm going to keep using these. Um, this is absolutely beautiful and I think it's going to, I think it's going to replace my Kaja one for now since my Kaja one is basically gone. Definitely highly recommend these beautiful, beautiful products. Let's move on to the lip liner, lip, eye, and face liner. Um, the one liner multi liner. I really liked this. I think that if you have a shade that you could do a monochromatic eye, cheek, and lip look with, um, I didn't use it on my cheeks, but I'm sure there's a way you could like put it on your finger and then tap it on the cheek. It might not be the easiest thing to put on the cheek since it is so tiny. Um, well, but I think putting it on your finger and then tapping it on your cheek could work. Yeah, it blends out just fine. So I think that if you wanted a <laughs> completely minimal monochromatic look, this would work for your eyes, your cheeks, and your lips. So I'm kind of impressed with this. Let's talk about the mascara. <sighs> I think I've heard people like li loving on this mascara, but I'm not really sure that I like it. I'm gonna have to try it a few more times, but um, it, it, there's a couple of flakes already from it. It's not the most lengthening, and I really like lengthening mascaras. But aside from that, I've been really enjoying tubing mascaras because I know they're not going to smudge or flake on my eyes, um, on, onto my face, so uh, I'm gonna use this some more because I had it, but I wasn't like blown away by it. It didn't like do something crazy awesome for my eyelashes. Um, yeah, so that was kind of an okay. But I would say my favorite ones are definitely these two and these two. Um, I'm probably actually gonna end up using this a lot more than I think. Like I feel like, I feel like that one's gonna be a really good one. But I really, really enjoyed these as well. So 
yeah, that is my kind of overview of these Tower 28 products. If you have tried something from Tower 28, let me know in the comments below what you think of it. Um, if you have a favorite product, if something has disappointed you from the brand, let us know in the comments below because I am curious to see how this stuff worked out for you as well. Um, and again, these are my first impressions, so I may end up hating or loving some of these, but I will definitely update you in a future video. But yeah, that is going to wrap it up for this one, guys. If you enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already and want to see future videos, hit that subscribe button down below, and I will see you guys next time. Stay gorgeous. Bye. Okay, well, let's get a thumbnail. All of these Tower 28 products. Cow, it's gotten insane outside. Whew. I got some on my computer. Hey, guys, and welcome back. Today, I get to test out some new makeup um no huh that sounds like it's hailing oh my gosh it's raining outside do you hear it do you hear the rain baby